Hello, it's Grandma again. Are you ready for Grandma's story time? You are? Today I wanted to talk about going to work. Does your mummy go to work? What does she do when she goes to work, do you know? If you don't, you'll have to ask her. And when she goes to work, where do you go? Do you go to daycare? And what do you do at daycare? Do you play? You play and mummy works. I've got a story about that today. I'm going to put on my glasses. Let's have a look. The book is called Mum Goes to Work by Libby Gleason, illustrated by Penny Azar. And this has got a sticker on it. It was on the shortlist from the Office of Multicultural Affairs for the Children's Book Awards. Are you ready? Mum goes to work. I can see some mum things and I can see some kid things. Let's have a look. What can we see here? I can see a bus. I can see a mum and her boy getting off the bus. Here's another mummy pushing a pram with two kids. There's some more mummies. Oh, there's someone saying, come on, wipe your face. And lots of kids have got backpacks and this one's holding mummy's hand. They're waiting at the crosswalk to cross the road. Let's start. It's early morning. Everyone is arriving at the centre. It's noisy and busy while May and Mark say hello. Mum is going to work. Bye, Mum. Bye. Nadia's mother is a student. She goes to classes. Can you see Nadia reading a book with her mum? She goes to classes and then she reads in the library. She writes in a folder and talks with the teacher about her work. Nadia paints a picture for her mum. And then she and Jack build a city in the block corner. It takes a very long time. Can you see how high they're building it? Here's Max. Max's mother is a nurse. Bye, Mummy. She gives patients their medicine. Look, there's a sick girl in hospital with a teddy. Open wide, have your medicine. She makes them comfortable. She checks all the machines and she talks to the doctor about each sick person. Max plays in the dressing up corner. He and Anne put the dolls to bed and then they join the others for music and a story. I think that's my favourite time, music and story time. Lawrence's mother makes clothes in a factory. She sews the clothes on her sewing machine and sometimes she helps cut out the material. Lawrence and Georgia empty the rag bag on the floor. Can you see it there with their scissors and their glue? They stick different coloured pieces onto a big sheet of paper to hang on the wall. At group time, it's their turn to play on the big drum. Here's Rosie and Jack. Rosie and Jack's mother works at home with their new baby. She feeds and baths him. And while he's sleeping, she washes the nappies and tidies the house. Later, she takes him shopping in the pram. Look, he's already snuggled up asleep. Rosie and Jack and Nadia wash all the dolls and teddies and put them out to dry. They empty the water onto the dirt and make a big mud pie. Then it's time to scrub their hands and sit down for lunch. Oh, lunch time. Do these mummies go to the park for lunch? They've got their lunch boxes and some food. 
sit and have a chat and look. Is that Rosie and Jack's mum there with the pram? Ah, now what can you see? It's lunchtime at daycare. Can you see all the things that are happening here? Someone's shoes come undone. Oh no, someone's orange drink has spilled. Ah, some people are tipping out their rubbish into the bin and putting their plates up at the sink ready for washing. That's what you do when you finish eating, isn't it? You clear up. I wonder what they had to eat. We can't see their plates. After lunch, it's quiet time. May pats Louie to sleep. Shh. Go to sleep. Do you have a sleep when you're at daycare or just a rest? Here's Georgia and Louie. Their mummies work for the council. Louie's mother is a secretary. She opens the mail and types the letters and answers the phone. George's mother is a gardener. She mows the lawns and digs and plants out tiny seedlings. Georgia and Louie wake up from their sleep and they give Mark a cuddle. Then they go out and water the vegetable patch and pick some flowers. They each make long pasta necklaces for their mothers. Have you made a necklace like that for your mum? Mummies love those. Anne's mother is a potter. She makes cups and bowls on the wheel. Then she adds the handles and paints them and puts them in the kiln for firing. After her rest, Anne tidies the cushions and then makes the fat farm animals from Play-Doh. It's fun making things with Play-Doh. Later, she and Ken run outside to swing from the long rope that hangs from the tree house. That sounds like fun too. Here's Bridget. Bridget mother works in the supermarket. She unpacks the boxes and puts the tins and packets on the shelves. Sometimes it's her turn to take the customer's money at the checkout. Do you go shopping with mummy sometimes? Bridget and Max play shops. They have lots of packets and jars on the table and a box of play money. When they finish, they help May cut up apples and celery for afternoon tea. Ken's mother is a teacher. She reads to her class and then she helps the children write their own stories. After they go home, she prepares work for the next morning. Ken and Anne help Mark put the bikes away. And then Ken takes all the dolls and teddies into the quiet corner. And he shows them some of the picture books. I think teddies like it when you read them a story. <sighs> Look, everyone's back in there again. It's nearly time to go home. Everyone is feeling tired. Look, May sitting down reading a book and all the mummies are coming to collect the kids to take them home. Look, some of them have to get back on the bus. They have to hold hands with mummy cross at the crosswalk. See you tomorrow. Bye. And that's the end of the story. Mum goes to work. Did your mum do any of those things? All different mums do different things. And all kids do different things at daycare. Maybe you can do me a drawing.
of what your mummy does at work or do a drawing of what you do and give it to mummy so that when she's at work she remembers you. I'll see you next time for another story. Bye bye. If you liked that story, why don't you have a look at other stories on my channel, Grandma's Storytime.